Look, he told us everything. That slip-up proves that he's been talking with someone about those murders. There is one other way he could have gotten that information. He could be talking to his brother. Kessel, he was talking with someone on the outside. He hasn't been communing with the dead. Well, we can't be sure, and we're running out of time. So I'm gonna scratch off number 27 on my bucket list. You remember that, uh, blue porcelain vase you had in your dining room table? Yeah, the one that the wind blew over. Yeah, about that. I was playing Wii Tennis in the living room. You broke my vase? Boss. Vase is acceptable, too. You know what? You can stop worrying about the spirits getting to you, because I just might kill you myself. Seriously? You want to spend our last day on Earth fighting? Ryan? Hey, we need you to subpoena records from the asylum. See who Leopold was in contact with by phone or over email. Yeah, sure, but just so you know, there's been a development. What do you mean? What kind of a development? Well, while looking into the Malloys, Nigel's name came up on a police report. What kind of a report? He was, um, reported missing a few days ago. Missing? The guy has been dead for over three years. Yeah, about that. The groundskeeper at the cemetery where Nigel is buried noticed that his plot has been disturbed. As in dug up? Well, not just dug up. Nigel Malloy's body has disappeared. It hasn't disappeared. He's risen from the grave.